Oh, the white rabbit told me about you. Did you bring the invitations? All I could find. <laughs> I see you found all of the invitations. This will be the biggest party possible. I'll be waiting here for whenever you're ready. I've got nowhere else to be. It was a party grander than the girl could ever imagine. The Queen of Hearts was perched at the center of the banquet table, awaiting the girl. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. It's wonderful. There's cake. Sure, I'm awake. Why, hello. A lost girl finds she is not lost, with many friends along the way. I'm sure you have enough friends here to speak your mind. The lost girl found her way, only to learn she has something to say. Invitations. She let all my children live. How wonderful. I mean, 52 mouths is a lot to feed. Maybe you could have lost like one or two invitations. <laughs> no, 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 I kid. Of, of course, yes. Very happy. So, so very happy. I tell myself. What a wonderfully woven collection of cartoonish characters you've brought together. Fabulous, wonderful, horrid. Wait, no, not horrid. That doesn't sound right. Hmm, I need more tea. Oh my god, she's like right there. I'm like sitting right next to the queen. I, I mean, um, of course she is, for I am the King of Spades, obviously worthy of being in the Queen's presence, and so on and so forth. But perhaps I'll ask for her number after a touch more tea. Oh, why did your stupid half-friend get to be the boss? Are his parents famous or something? I used to be a fool too. Not fair. You've come quite a long way, and I see you've taken back the pet that I took from you, that you may or may not have stolen from someone else. Now, tell me, how does this story end? Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I say you don't deserve to be queen. I say you're in no place to tell me anything. You're a nobody here. I am not. I've made some very good friends. Very good friends, you say? Who? Well, they're all here. I invited everyone. And just as my grandmother said, a crown doesn't make you a queen. Little petrubulant girl. Huh. And what are you going to do about it? Oh, nothing. Just this. Off with her head! No. No. Please. No! The end. Wow. Yeah. That was... That was amazing. Off with her head. 
the Queen really got what she deserved. Well, I mean, she was very mean to everyone, but beheading... A crown doesn't make you a queen, Grandpa. Neither does a head, apparently. That's... you think that chopping her head off is the only way to go for Ellie? Hmm... maybe not. But someone should at least tell her to stop being so mean all the time. I totally agree with that. Can we tell another story, Grandpa? Please? We'll have to save some stories for later, right? Hey, time for bed now, my little storyteller. Okay, but I'm going to think of another story about Wonderland before I go to sleep. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that one tomorrow then. Good night, Grandpa. Sweet dreams, Alice. It was a party grander than the girl could ever imagine. The Queen of Hearts was perched at the center of the banquet table, awaiting the girl. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. It's... It... You've come quite a long way. And I see you've taken back the pet that I took from you. That you may or may not have stolen from someone else. Now, tell me, how does this story end? I would like to stay. And I just wanted to say, you're doing a great job. Of course I am. I don't think anyone could be doing better. Obviously not. With all of this plotting around me, you'd think I'm the antagonist in this story. No one is grateful for what I've done. And I've done so much. In fact, I can do so much for you. All I demand is your unquelsient loyalty. That sounds great. Very well. I will make you my duchess. You will oversee the cook's duties until the end of days. And one last thing. Don't forget the pepper. The End Ellie stays in Wonderland. She will be the Queen's Duchess. In Wonderland. Yes, she will. But... The Queen didn't seem so nice, right? Do you think the girl will have a good time? You know, bringing Pepper to the Queen of Hearts until the end of her days? Hmm, do you think we should have brought her back home? Well... Maybe the girl will live in a big castle? Sure. A huge castle with her own Duchess! And... and she will have as much candy as she wants. Forever. And she can stay up late and... <laughs> yes, yes, all the candy in Wonderland. And maybe next time we tell the story about Ellie and Patches, something else will happen. Hey, time for bed now, my little storyteller. Okay, but I'm going to think of another story about Wonderland before I go to sleep. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that one. Tomorrow, then. Good night, Grandpa. Sweet dreams. <laughs>